Hi, in this video we'll learn how to solve a multi-step equation and find the value of the unknown variable. In my equation, the unknown variable is y and we need to find the value of y. To find the value of y, all I need to do is to isolate y and get y by itself. So first of all, let's get rid of the parentheses. To remove the parentheses, I will have to distribute negative 5 across y plus 1 and then I'll have to distribute 3 across 1 plus y. That means I need to multiply every single term inside the parentheses with negative 5. So let's do that. Negative 5 times y will give me negative 5y. So let's write that negative 5y. And then negative 5 times positive 1 will give me negative 5. And this is equal to that 3 times 1 will give me 3. And then 3 times positive y will give me 3y. Now you can see that I have variable on both the sides of my equation. On the left hand side I have negative 5y and on the right hand side I have 3y but we just need one variable and we need to isolate that variable. So what I'm going to do is I'll look for the variable term which is smaller and then I'll eliminate that variable. So here obviously negative 5y will be smaller than 3y so basically what we do is we compare the coefficients of the variables so the coefficient of this variable is negative 5 and the coefficient of this variable is 3 and we know that negative 5 is smaller than 3 right so we're going to eliminate negative 5y so to eliminate negative 5y i just have to add 5y and i'm going to add 5y on the left hand side as well as on the right hand side uh, because remember that we need to balance the equation. Whatever we do to one side, we do that same thing to the other side as well, right? And we can only combine the like terms here. So negative 5y and positive 5y, well, this is 0. So this is gone and we can cancel this out. And this is basically 0 take away 5. So 0 take away 5 will give me negative 5. And here on the right hand side, I'm going to put 3. And we cannot combine this term, this constant number with this variable term we can only combine the like terms so 3y plus 5y will give me 8y now all we need to do is to get y by itself to get y by itself first of all we're going to undo addition right i have 3 here so i'm going to uh, eliminate 3 to get rid of 3 we just need to subtract 3 and we remember to do that on both the sides as well right so here negative 5 take away 3 is going to give me negative 8 and um, this is equal to 3 take away 3 well that will be 0 and 0 plus 8y is going to give me 8y and just to avoid confusion I'm going to cancel this out I have um, 8 times y well we how do we undo the multiplication we well to undo multiplication we just have to divide right so I'm going to divide both sides of my equation by 8 Okay, now here you can see that negative 8 divided by 8 is going to give me negative 1. And this is equal to, well, 8 and 8 will cancel out each other. Or you can think about this, that 8 divided by 8 is, get, is going to give me 1. And 1 times y is still y, so I'm going to put y here. So we got negative 1 equals y, y equals negative 1. So that's going to be my final answer. To check and verify whether my answer is correct or not, what I'm going to do is I'll plug this value back into my equation. So let's do that mentally. Here I have got negative 1, right? So y equals negative 1. I'm going to plug this value back into my question again. So think about this. Now in place of y, I'm going to plug in negative 1. So this is negative 1 plus 1. Well, negative 1 plus 1 is going to be 0. And 0 times negative 5 will still going to give me 0. So I got 0 on the left-hand side. Now let's see what do we get on the right-hand side. So here I'm going to plug in uh, negative 1 in place of y. So this is 1 plus negative 1 and 1 plus negative 1 is going to give me 0 and 0 times 3 is going to give me 0. So I got 0 on both the sides. That means my left hand side is equal to the right hand side um, which proves that my answer is absolutely correct. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next video.